Kenyan Christians, beware of cherishing one sin. One sin lived in gives Satan as much advantage against you as more sins. The fowler can hold a bird by one wing. Satan held Judas fast by one sin. One sin lived in proves that the heart is not sound. He who hides one rebel in his house is a traitor to the crown. The person who indulges one sin is a traitorous hypocrite. One sin lived in will make way for more. As a little thief can open the door to more, sins are linked and chained together. One sin will draw on more. David's adultery made way for murder. One sin never goes alone. If there is only one nest egg, the devil can brood on it. One sin lived in is as much a bridge of God's law as more sins. Whoever keeps the entire law yet fails in one point is guilty of breaking it all. James 2.10 The king may make a law against felony, treason and murder. If a man is guilty of only one of these, he is a transgressor. One sin lived in prevents Christ from entering. One stone in the pipe keeps out the water. One sin indulged in obstructs the soul and keeps the streams of Christ's blood from running into it. One sin lived in will spoil all your good duties. One dead fly will spoil the whole box of precious ointment. A drop of poison will spoil a glass of wine. Abimelech, a bastard son, destroyed 70 of his brethren. Judges 9.5 One bastard sin will destroy 70 prayers. One sin lived in will be a canker worm to eat out the peace of conscience. Alas! What a scorpion lies within, Seneca. One sin is a pirate to rob a Christian of his comfort. One jarring string puts all the music out of tune. One sin lived in will spoil the music of conscience. One sin lived in will damn as well as more sins. One disease is enough to kill. If a fence is made ever so strong and only one gap is left open, the wild beast may enter and tread down the corn. If only one sin is allowed in the soul, you leave open a gap for the devil to enter. A soldier may have only one gap in his armor and the bullet may enter there. He may as well be shot there as if he had no armor on at all. So if you favor only one sin, you leave a part of your soul unprotected and the bullet of God's wrath may enter there and shoot you. One sin lived may shut you out of heaven. What difference is there between being shut out of heaven for one sin or for many sins? One millstone will sink a man into the sea as well as a hundred Therefore, beware of cherishing one sin. Give a certificate of divorce to every sin. Kill the Goliath sin. Let not sin reign over you. Romans 6.12 In the original it is, let not sin king it over you. Grace and sin may be together, but grace and the love of sin cannot. Therefore, parley with sin no longer. But with the spear of mortification, spill the hot blood of every sin. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Romans 8.13 So put to death the sinful earthly things lacking within you. Colossians 3.5 Once in Hubbard in the soul, will unfit us for suffering. How soon an hour of trial may come. A man who has hurt his shoulder 
cannot carry a heavy burden, and a man who has any guilt in his conscience cannot carry the cross of Christ. Will he who cannot deny his lust for Christ deny his life for Christ? One unmortified sin in the soul will bring forth the bitter fruit of apostasy. This is from Thomas Watson, the godly man's picture drawn with a scripture pencil. The negative task of putting sin to death will not be accomplished in isolation from the positive call of the gospel to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 13:14. Paul spells this out in Colossians 3, 12-17. Sweeping the house clean simply leaves us open to a further invasion of sin. But when we understand the glorious exchange principle of the gospel of grace, then we will begin to make some real advance in holiness. As sinful desires and habits are not only rejected, but exchanged for Christ-like graces, Colossians 3.12, and actions Colossians 3 13 as we are clothed in Christ's character and his graces are held together by love Colossians 3 14 not only in our private life but also in the church fellowship Colossians 3 12 to 16 Christ's name and glory are manifested and exalted in and among us Colossians 3 17 this is from the Liga Neo Ministries website thanks for watching bye